Welcome back. Now, what we are going to be dealing with now is um, other trigonometric functions. This particular area of mathematics will be good for those who are doing further mathematics, other trigonometric, other trigonometric functions, and um, and also the identities of our trigonometry. Now, the other trigonometric function says that when you have, uh, you know, we have a cosine theta, we have sine theta, and we have tangent. When we have the inverse, the inverse of a cosine theta is same thing as one over cosine theta, which is the same thing as um, cosec, which is cosec, cosecant, theta, this is theta, and another word, this is a short form of cosec, and a cosecant is cosec. In short form. Now, when you have something like um, sine, inverse of sine is the same thing as 1 over sine theta, which is the same thing as uh, second sec theta, which is the same thing as second theta. And when you have um, Tan inverse of tan theta is same thing as one over tan theta, which is same thing as cotangent, a cot, we call it cot theta, is a co tangent theta. Now this will now lead us to the inverse, I mean the identities of all these relationships. These functions are less less commonly used and can always be replaced by their reciprocals when they are being used as it is in this uh, already written words. Now the identities, identities, Identities are relationship between the trigonometry uh, functions, which are important. They are very, very important. Most especially people who are doing mathematics or UTME. UTME also come out in the further mathematics. I mean, UTME also has further mathematics inside it. Uh, they should take note of this. They should take note of this. And these functions are true for all values of angles, ends are called identities. They are called identities. This means that the expressions are identical in value but look different. I'm going to be considering this to explain the identities. This triangle to explain the identities. It should be noted uh, for most especially for that math student and anybody who wants to do UTME. Um, if you have a relationship like this, I mean, if you have a like, triangle like this, this you know this is the second quadrant, and you have plus y and minus x, 0, 1, remember this angle is coming like this, this is 90 degree, 90 degree, first quadrant, quadrant and second quadrant okay um, you should note that tan theta is equals to plus y over minus x tan theta is equals to minus plus y over 1 and cos theta is equal to 
minus x over 1. So this means it's going to be tan theta is equal to cosine theta over, oh, sorry, uh, that should be sine theta. Let me clean this out. Is sine theta over cos theta. This is identity one in trigonometry. Sine theta over cosine theta. Um, identity two states that considering the fact that we have Pythagoras rule, like I've said before. Pythagoras rule also goes a long way in helping us to find the relationship, which is x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. That's what the Pythagoras theorem says. Then we now have sine theta square root, I mean sine theta square plus cosine theta square is equal to 1. That's identity 2. Why take into consideration that? sine theta square is the same thing as sine theta square all together okay. so from equation two we can now see that sine square theta is equal to as one minus cosine square theta and the same thing as cosine t square theta is the same thing as one minus sine square theta Dividing through, we need to take note of all these rules that we are mentioning. Let's take this as a uh, equation one. I mean equation two. Sine square theta plus cosine square theta is equal to 1. Divide through by sine theta. We have sine square theta sine square theta plus cosine square theta plus Sine square theta is equal to 1 over sine square theta. This is going to give us 1 plus, um, this is tangent. Okay, this is wrong. What we need to do is to divide through by, um, divide through by cosine because we are trying to find a relationship between them if we divide through by cosine square theta plus cosine square theta cosine square theta this is going to give us sine square theta in this equation that we've got here plus one is equals to 1 over cosec squared theta. This is another equation. This is equation 1, this is equation 2, this is equation 3. And these are the identities of the identities of um, of our trigonometric function. The same thing applies to when you divide through by sine squared theta. It's going to give you um, cut square theta plus 1 is equal to cosec square theta and this is sec square cos theta sec uh, this is sec cos theta and divide through by sine
sec square theta. This is equation four. That's when you divide two by sine. You change it to sine, remove this and change it to sine. This is the expression of sine square theta, sine square theta, sine square theta. It's going to give you this expression. Yeah. So this is all what we can take for trigonometric today. And then we are going to the next topic we're going to be dealing with is going to be taking us into the usage of all this expression thank you very much stay tuned